Hello friends, welcome to another video by Visual Designers. Myself, Dr. Dimple Dalal, and today we are going to know about the discovery of homeopathy. But before we move forward, let's play a small game. A few questions will pop up on your screen, and you will have seven seconds to pick your answer. Give yourself one point for every right answer. Ready? So here is your first question. That was easy, isn't it? Did you know that the other options here are the family members of Dr. Samuel Hahnemann? Christian Gottfried Hahnemann was the father. Johanna Christiana Hahnemann was the mother, and Johanna Leopoldine Henriette Hahnemann was the wife of Hahnemann. Now comes the second question. Most of us know that Hahnemann was a qualified allopathic doctor, but he was also appointed by the governor of Transylvania as a librarian. His interest and study of chemistry brought him in contact with Hessler Pharmacy. Hahnemann's father was a porcelain painter, and he was too poor to afford education for him. He repeatedly took him away from the school so that he might pursue some business more suited to his income. Moving towards the third question. Let's proceed to fourth question. Homeopathy was discovered in Germany. But did you know that Hahnemann had to travel a lot of places? At one point the opposition of his method grieved so much that he had to leave his home city. Hahnemann died in Paris, France. Later in this video we will give an interesting story that relates to the opposition of Hahnemann and his methods so please watch this video till the end now comes the fifth question homeopathy was discovered in 1790 but it was 1796 when it was published in hufland's journal a very popular publication of those times This was the first time homeopathy came to the world. Hahnemann was born in 1755 and he took his allopathic MD degree in 1779. Let's see the sixth question. We will see the fascinating story of how Hahnemann discovered homeopathy very shortly. Now the seventh and the last question. How many points did you get right? Share your points in the comment section. Now let's start with the life history of Dr. Hahnemann and the discovery of homeopathy. The discovery of homeopathy dates back to the year 1790 and its credit goes to Dr. Christian Friedrich Samuel Hahnemann, a German physician and scholar who was born on 10th April 1755 and grew up in Meissen in Saxony of Germany and received his medical degree in Erlangen in 1779 he was a german allopathic physician though he set up his practice as an allopathic medical practitioner he stopped it with utter dissatisfaction towards the medical science he was dissatisfied with the state of medicine in his time and particularly objected to practices such as bloodletting He claimed that the medicine he had been taught to practice sometimes did the patient more harm than good. So Dr. Hahnemann stopped practicing allopathy and started translating medical books of his time. Did you know he was a master of about a dozen of languages such as English, German, Greek, Latin, Italian, Arabic, Spanish, etc. While engaged in translating Cullen's Materia Medica from English to German, he came across a statement that cinchona cures intermittent fever because of its bitter and astringent properties he was dissatisfied with this explanation 
because there are many bitter substances which do not cure intermittent fever like cinchona as a young doctor he was curious to know the action of cinchona so dr henemann decided to take cinchona in the form of medicine every day and consume 4 drams of cinchona twice a day to his astonishment he experienced the same medicinal effects of cinchona as described by kulen This was the first example of drug proving that led to the discovery of homeopathy in 1790. From 1790 to 1796, for six long years, Dr. Henemann repeated such experiments on himself, healthy individuals, and fellow doctors. In every experiment, he found the same result, and that medicines cure diseases because they produce similar diseases in healthy individuals, or like cures like. So in 1796 Dr Henemann put forward these findings in a popular journal during that time named Hoofland's Journal The title of Henemann's essay was an essay on new principle for ascertaining the curative powers of drugs and some examinations of previous principles He published this newly found doctrine of cure that is similia similibus curator or like cures like Did you know that Hahnemann was not the first person to formulate the law of like cures like? In fact, Hahnemann himself credited and quoted many previous scientists and personalities like Hippocrates who stated this law several times in his teachings. However, no one really took it in an organized therapeutic manner. Dr. Hahnemann was the first to apply this law to therapeutics and medicine and develop a new science of medical treatment. homeopathy as we know today the word homeopathy is a greek derivation where homeos means similar and pathos means suffering so homeopathy may be defined as the therapeutic method of symptom similarity hahnemann conducted hundreds of experiments or provings which he collected in his landmark book organon of rational healing in 1810 The book which explains every one of Hahnemann's discoveries and experiments is widely considered Hahnemann's most important work. Hahnemann was a great man, but he too had his share of problems and opposition. The publication of Hahnemann's Organon resulted in immediate controversy. He was attacked in medical journals of the day and books and pamphlets were fulminated against him and his doctrines. Pharmacists opposed Hahnemann because he prepared his own remedies bypassing them. Meanwhile, an event had occurred that gave signal to more and more extensive and violent attacks on homeopathy. There was a prince of Schwarzenberg. He was a general officer commanding of the allied armies against Napoleon. He suffered from paralysis by a stroke in 1870. During that time, Hahnemann was in a German city called Leipzig. and the prince came to leipzig for his treatment under hahnemann he was improved under dr hahnemann's treatment but soon fell back to old habits of drinking this resulted in another stroke and he died in 1820 his death brought intense agony to the austrians and hahnemann was prohibited from dispensing his medicines then in 1821 duke ferdinand of anhalt cothen gave hahnemann permission to live and practice homeopathy in kothe then in 1834 a french lady came to consult him for her skin complaints she brought hahnemann to france in 1835 and by 1836 he was granted to practice medicine in paris in france hahnemann received the reward of his years of trials and starvations He got everything for which the human beings aspire: name, fame, recognition, money, honor, comfort, and the most important of all, the peace. The long journey through the rough weathers of life comes to the end. Hahnemann breathed his last on 2nd July of 1843 at the age of 88 years in Paris. So this was our presentation on life history of Dr. Hahnemann and discovery of homeopathy. If you have found value in this video please don't forget to like and share it with others If you have not subscribed to our channel please do so now Please comment and provide your valuable feedback Thanks for watching bye